Good morning students. I am your Anjana ma'am back here with your math lessons of class 4 chapter 3 subtraction. Take out your classwork copy, write today's date and write exercise 3.3 page number 41. Students, you need not copy the question. Only write the solution. Again I am repeating, write the information exercise 3.3 page 41 and we will write only the solution. I have written the question for you to explain it. Little Bo Beep lost 976 sheep. If she had 2190 sheep in the beginning, how many is she left with? Solution Number of sheep Little Bo Beep had 2190. Number of sheep she lost 976. Therefore, number of sheep left equal to, how do you get it? By subtracting from the total number she had. 2190 minus 976. See, in the ones column, there is 0. So, you borrow 1 from the tens column. This becomes 1, 10 becomes 10 ones. 10 minus 6 is 4 ones. Write 4 in the ones column. Now, 9 minus 8, it has become 8 tens. 8 minus 7 is 1 ten. Write 1 here. Now, 9 is less than 1. 9 is greater than 1. So, you cannot subtract 100 from 900 from 100. You have to borrow 1000. 2000 becomes 1000. And 1000 change it to 1000. 10 plus 1, 1100 minus 900 is 200. And 1000 bring it down. So your answer is 1214. But you have to write the answer in the statement form. The little Bo Beep is left with 1214 sheep. I repeat, number of sheep little Bo Beep had 2190. Number of sheep she lost 976. Therefore, number of sheep left equal to 1214. Answer, little Bo Beep is left with 1214 sheep. I hope you have written it. Now go to question number 3. Children, question number 1 is already solved in the book. So, I started from question number 2. Question number 3 states, A milkman carried 1827 bottles of milk in his truck. 259 bottles broke. How many bottles remained? What is the solution? Number of bottles, B-O-T-T-L-E-S, a milkman, M-I-L-K-M-A-N, carried, C-A-R-R-I-E-D, equal to 1,827. Number of bottles broken, B-R-O-K-E-N, 259. Therefore, number of bottles left equal to, how do you get it? By subtracting. See, here is 9, here is 7. You cannot subtract 9 from 7, so you borrow 110. 110 becomes 10 ones. 10 plus 7, 17 ones minus 9 one is 8 ones. Write 8 in the ones column. This has become 110, but 1 is less than 5. So you borrow 1 from the hundreds column. 800 becomes 700 and 100 change it to 10 tens. So 10 plus 1, 11 10. 11 minus 5 is 6 10. Write 6 in the tens column. 7 minus 2, 500 and 1 minus nothing means 0, 1000. Your answer is 1568. Answer 1568 bottles of milk remain with the milkman. 1568 bottles remain with the milkman. Let me repeat. Number of bottles a milkman carried 1827. Number of bottles broken 259. Number of bottles left 1568. Answer 1568 bottles of milk remained with the milkman. Have you written it? Now let us go to question number 4. 2745 children took part in the Republic Day Parade. Of these 1,087 were girls. How many boys participated in the parade? Solution. Number of children. C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N. Took part in parade. P-A-R-A-D-E. Equal to 2745. Number of girls participated. P-A-R-T-I-C-I-P-A-T-E-D. 1,087. Therefore, number of boys participated equal to 
by subtracting you get the answer in, right 2745 minus 1087 7 is greater than 5 1 so you borrow 110 410 becomes 310 and 110 change it to 10 1 so 10 plus 5 15 minus 7 8 ones. this has become 3 tens which is less than 8 10 so you borrow 100 700 becomes 600 and 100 change it to 10 tens 10 plus 3, 13, minus 8, 5 tens. Right, 5 in the tens column. 6 minus 0 is 600 and 2 minus 1 is 1000. Your answer 1658. Uh, you write it in the statement form 1658 boys participated in the parade. I am repeating number of children took part in parade 2745. Number of girls participated 1087. Therefore, number of boys participated, 1658. Answer, 1658 boys participated in the parade. I hope you are able to understand how to solve the sums. Now go to question number 5. The sum of two numbers is 4785. One of them is 2893. What is the other? How do you get it? Solution, sum of two numbers. What do you mean by sum? When two numbers are added, you get the sum. One number is given. To find the other number, we have to subtract the other number from the sum. The first number from the sum. Four, seven, sum of two numbers, 4785. One number is 2893. Therefore, the other number is, see, 4785 minus 2893. 5 minus 3, 2 ones. 9 is less than 8, greater than 8. So borrow 100. This becomes 600 and this 100 change it to 10 tens. 10 plus 8, 18 tens. 18 minus 9, 9 ten. Right, 9 in the tens column. But 8 is greater than 600. So borrow 1000. 4000 change it to 3000. 1000 change it to 10 hundred. 10 plus 6, 1600. 16 minus 8 is 800. And 3 minus 2 is 1000. So the other number is 1892. I hope you have done it. I'm, let me repeat it. Sum of two numbers 4785. One number is 2893. Therefore the other number is 1892. Answer the other number is 1892. Question number 6. 6325 kg of potatoes arrived in the market. Out of these, 5,946 kg were sold. How many kilograms of potatoes remain? And solution, total quantity, Q-U-A-N-T-I-T-Y, of potatoes, P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S, equal to 6325. Quantity of potatoes sold, 5,946. Therefore, quantity of potatoes left. How do you get it? By subtracting. See? 6 is greater than 5, so borrow 110. 210 change it to, becomes 110. And 110 change it to 10 ones. 10 plus 5, 15 ones. 15 minus 6, 9 ones. But 4 is greater than 110, so borrow 100. 100 change it to 10 tens. 10 plus 1, 11 ten. 11 minus 4 is 7 tens. Now, 9 is greater than 200, so borrow 1000. 6 becomes 5,000 and 1,000 change it to 10 hundreds. 10 plus 2, 12. 1,200 minus 9 is 300. And 5,000 minus 5,000, 0. Don't write 0 in the beginning. Your answer is 379. Write the answer. 379 kg of potatoes remained. Let me repeat. Total, total quantity of potatoes, 6,325. Quantity of potatoes sold, 5,946. Therefore, quantity of potatoes left, 379. Answer, 379 kg of potatoes remained, R-E-M-A-I-N-E-D. So much for today. Thank you and have a nice day.